So I'm having a chat with Kieran of the Sherlocks. How are you? I'm good, mate. How are you? Yeah, not too bad. Thanks very much. So the reason we are having this little chat is you have a new record on the way coming out in January called World I Understand. What can you tell us about the record? Yeah, it's a 10-track record, uh, 11, including a a little intro piece. Uh, and, yeah, excited about it. We, we recorded it in Rockfield, Wales, with uh, Dave Eringer, who's probably most well-known for recording uh, Manic Street Preachers. And, uh, and yeah, it, it's... It's it's always hard to try and summarise, but yeah, we we had a lot of fun making this, and I think I think it's his, I definitely think it's his best record yet. But I think uh, mm. I think this time around we just nailed it, and and obviously yeah. having a lot of free time um, with the pandemic going off and stuff, I feel like we've we've had time to put a lot more effort into other aspects of it as well, like that even like the cover and stuff like that. Normally everything feels a little bit rushed, so mm. yeah, I think we've nailed it this time around. Yeah, I, I, I would agree. It's, it's very classic Sherlock. If you listen to it, you know it, it's you guys who, who've made the record. Yeah, exactly. I think, if, like you said, if you're a fan of our band, you'll love this record mm. anyway. Uh, and if you're new to his band, I feel like this record, similar to his others, are, are the, all the songs are usually varied, but especially on this one, I feel like if you're new to our band, they'll be a song for you because it's, it's like a mixed bag there's, there's a there's so many different avenues that we've gone down mm. on this record um, and new new to what we've what we've ever done before so yeah i think people are gonna i think people are, are gonna get it if you if you're into our band but i think it's also gonna push his audience a little bit and test them and 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 some it's yeah <laughs> people are gonna question certain songs and and certain sounds, and, and maybe even think it doesn't sound like us, but I think it's important to keep doing that and pushing mm. your audience. Yeah, absolutely, and I always, always wanted to try something new, and something new with this record is having to record it and write it in a lockdown, in a quarantine situation. What what was it like recording in such different times compared to your, your previous two? I mean, the, recording, the recording weren't too bad. At, for me, I think it was... I think it was everything that led up to the point of going into studio. The actual studio weren't too bad because we did it residentially. Um, so we were like his own, essentially we were like his own bubble, even though we're from different different households. Um, mm. Because we're spending so much time together, we, we became like one bubble when not one of us were leaving for three weeks. And, and there weren't people coming in and out. It was just literally me, the rest of the band. Uh, my dad were down there. And, yeah, and Dave. Um, and his assistant down at thingy, down at Rockfield. So, yeah, the, the actual recording was pretty fine, to be honest. The, the hardest bit was probably getting some real strings down where we we didn't really mind coming out of, coming out of the, um, the live room to, to let the string players in and record um, mm. so that were all safe and stuff but yeah like like I mentioned before that getting down to Rockfield that was the hardest bit because we couldn't really we weren't allowed to meet up so I'd, most of the work were done like over WhatsApp as daft as it sounds like literally me and Alex and, and me and Trent were all in a group chat and were sending videos back and stuff like this and uh, it's just a bit crazy I think before going down to make the album we literally met up maybe tw- like twice tops as a band so yeah I don't think many bands would have even done what, what we've done this time around mm. yeah absolutely and off the back of this this record you are heading out on a UK tour as well fingers crossed all being well anyway um, I bet you can't wait to be back on the road again no exactly it's uh, it's something we enjoy doing it, it's it's something we've probably built as fan base offer really. We've never we've never been a night band. We've always been a a bit of a DIY band really and we've we've sort of earned to stripes up to this point by just going out and just gigging mm. relentlessly, just non stop tours. If we're not touring UK, we'll probably be in Germany or or wherever. So mm. yeah, it's it's something we've 
it's probably his favourite thing to do, to be honest. And uh, and yeah, I'm looking forward to playing a load of new tunes as well because I think the album lends itself to to be being to be played live. Sorry, so yeah, can't wait. Yeah, absolutely. And obviously, we've met in the past at uh, festivals, and you've already got a festival booked in for next year. Are you hoping to be doing a, a longer run in the festival circuit this this coming year? Yeah, yeah, I'd hope so. Uh, last year, well, obviously, as you know, it, it, it's just it's just been a bit of a nightmare for all bands, to be honest. Mm. And uh, and even up to this point, you still don't you're not hundred percent on on knowing whether you're going to do certain gigs and stuff like that. But it's at this point, it's just fingers crossed, really. And we we just want to get back playing in front of crowds and stuff. So hopefully, uh, next year's festival run should be pretty normal, but. You never know, dear. It's it's no. up and down every day. So. <laughs> yeah, and who knows where we're going to be in even just a couple of weeks' time. And hopefully you'll be able to be on your UK tour as well. But obviously with touring, you'll want to be getting abroad as well, I'm sure. Are you hoping to be working on booking some overseas uh, gigs and, and tours over in Europe and, and maybe across to the States? Yeah, definitely. That's, that's the plan. Uh, that's that's what we're working towards to to have a full uh, a full calendar year booked for just as normal like gig in the UK mm. as you mentioned Europe America Japan I'd like to get over to Australia we've never been there before mm-hmm. um, and yeah and have it there can never be too many gigs for us like we <laughs> we we're pretty good at going on tour and and just lasting like you could you could stick me on tour for a couple of years and i wouldn't complain it's (laughs) it's a piece of cake so the more gigs the better yeah yeah absolutely and obviously with all this time you've had lockdown i mean a good 18 months of not being able to to tour and and gig you obviously wrote this record but you must have written more than this album's worth have you started even thinking about record four and onwards yeah that's exactly what that's that's what I'm doing every day now. I just most of the songs are, are pretty much wrote, to be honest. I think mm. pretty soon we'll uh, early next year we'll be back in the studio uh, and get an album four down. Yeah, so yeah, we we pretty much had stopped and, and lockdown gave me a lot of time to get to, to sort album three out and uh, I crack on with that. And since then, I've just continued to try and keep writing i've never been the most prolific writer in the world it takes me a while to get songs together but rather than rather than write a song finish it write a song finish it and do that process pretty quick i've never really been able to do that i've always got like 15 songs on the go at once and then i'm mm. chipping away but uh yeah excited about album four it feels it feels weird talking about album four when <laughs> the third record isn't even out yet but uh, it's good news for fans because Obviously, when when album three comes out and we do the touring cycle and promote it and stuff, album four will be well in the works. So, should look forward to it. Yeah, absolutely. Well, Kieran, it's been a pleasure having a catch up with you. Yeah, man. Same. So, thank, thanks a lot for that. Appreciate it.